Well, hello and welcome to this week's episode back here in the Rest of Saga workshop. And this week we are looking at a garage workshop tour. These have always proved quite popular in the past. It's always good to have a, an overview of what's going on and what's coming on in the future here on the channel and what other bits and pieces we're going to be doing. So we're starting to start off with the Land Rover, then look at the Toy Lander and some other bits and pieces that are going on in the background and have a wee chat about future projects as well. So starting off, and I make no apologies for the absolute mess that the garage is in. Starting off with obviously the biggest thing in the garage is the Land Rover, the 1976 Land Rover Series 3, 88 inch, and probably the one that's had the most videos made on it, maybe the Morris Meyer. But um, I'm going to use this today um, because the Toy Lander is finished. Um, the final build installment is going to come next week, but I'm going to take it down um, to somewhere where there's a little bit more space and do a bit of test drive. See if my little son can drive it. He's nearly three. Um, he might not be able to manage it, but we'll give it a go. So Land Rover is on the charger because it hasn't been driven in a, uh, maybe a week or two. Uh, I like to keep it on the, tri the trickle charger. And that's my Maypole. And I did a video review of this maybe a year or two ago. Seems quite popular. So great job. Um, sad, <laughs> sad story about my multimeter. I drove over it, so I had to get a new one. So that one's trashed. Um, so while since I made one of these videos really looking at the garage but since then I have done the full front end rebuild of axle suspension put the freewheeling hubs on there Land Rover's in great shape yes it's very dirty but it does get used quite regularly um, it's just road dirt nothing in particular um, talking of which what's coming next for the Land Rover well I'm getting a new back door um, this is from Paintman Panels. Paintman is quite well known in Land Rover restoration circles for supplying um, enamel paints. And he seems to do really good work with the paints, although I haven't used any of those yet, but I do use his panels. And this is the first one I've got. So really excited to get stuck into this one. Um, it's brand new and it's made, seems to be made of very high specifications. It's come th right through an etch primer. Um, it's in good shape, although the courier did put a little bit of a dent down it, but that's okay. The rest of the Land Rover isn't perfectly arrow straight, so I can, I can live with that. And brilliant customer service from Paintman themselves. They did offer to replace it or refund it, um, but you know, it wasn't their fault. So great job from them, very much appreciated. And I'm gonna do a full video on prepping this for paint, and I'm gonna have a go at brush painting it in enamel. Um, it's gonna be done in the same color as the Toy Lander, which is the original color that the Land Rover should be, which is lime, limestone or RAL1015 is what I've been using um, as the sort of closest equivalent. So Land Rover's gonna get fully repainted. And I know I've been talking about this for ages, but I'm gonna bite the bullet and just get on with it. So the first panel I'm gonna start with is the door and then probably the roof and the side panels because they're easily removable. Um, the rear tub needs quite a lot of work. It needs a brand new floor put on it. Um, I may have shown this before, but if you look down here, these little struts have all popped off and the struts were new. The floor is a bit nasty anyway, so I think it's just time for a new floor, but a decent f proper aluminium floor, not just a sheet of two mil soft aluminium, a decent reproduction floor is about 200 pounds delivered um, to here to Northern Ireland. So um, it's quite a financial undertaking. So, but that's okay. Next job then is to paint it and it'll be a full exterior paint and interior of the tub. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to just strip out the gearbox floor, bulkhead, all that to paint those. Um, I might have to do it in stages because I like to keep it on the road and usable for the family because it is it's a useful truck. And then moving on to the Toylander. Um, bit of a sneak peek of what's coming ahead, but it is finished. 100% complete. Well, 99.9% .9 complete. The only thing I want to do is to touch in the middle of the starter handle escutcheon um, to be the same colour as this. Whether I actually do that in due time, I haven't quite decided because I'm so scared of messing it up now that it's finished. Um, it's on its charger, uh, nice wee trickle charger I got it from Toylander. Um, quite expensive, but it was only decent 24 volt one that I could get. Um, if you haven't been following this, I've covered every inch of this build here on YouTube. I think there's about 24, 25 installments. 
Um, next week's one will be the finale. Um, and then I'll do another video just of a tour and taking it for a bit of a test drive and so on. Um, really delighted as to how this is finished up. Um, I never thought it would look as good as I think it does. Um, you might not agree, but that, that's okay. Um, and I, I just think it looked class. <laughs> I've driven it up and down my street a few times just um, to see, check that it all works. But uh, what I'm going to do today is load it into the trailer and take it down to somewhere where there's a wee bit more space and it's a bit more flat um, and see how we get on with it. Bit of test right? I'm sure there'll be little kinks or whatever need worked out but, but you know that's okay. There's the back end equally as detailed as the front. Um, I've just enjoyed really every bit of this um, apart from stripping the paint and the wheels and the bonnet multiple times but you know not every build goes straight forward. Um, but this paint and if you haven't followed it, um, this is acrylic, whereas this is enamel and an aerosol, not from Paint Man, I hasten that. And it's just been a mess. I've stripped it a couple of times, this has never set. And annoyingly, the, the paint on the dashboard hasn't quite set either, and you can see a few wee marks. Um, I was going to touch them in, but now I'm a wee bit on the fence again as to whether I'm going to start into that nonsense. And just work with it, because at the end of the day, my little son is... And, my, and I have two sons, my little sons are going to be playing with it, so it is going to get marked and scraped, so I might just leave it. Um, I'll delay that decision-making process. Um, some more decorations have arrived in the garage. Um, it's a bit of a man cave affair. Um, some new paintings and artwork. Um, this is the Isle of Man, or not the Isle of Man, the Ards TT, um, which is a race not too far away from where I live. I um, quite enjoy the history of that. Maybe do a video on that in the future. Um, some of the road signs and so on I've picked up along the way. Now, over here, just to give you a sneak peek of a future project, if I can find it under the absolute mess of my workbench, which I promise I'll tidy, is this. So, as I just said, I have two sons. They are a bit like myself and they enjoy cars. And um, I recently had a friend passed away a year 18 months ago um, and I was given quite recently some bits and pieces of his including quite a lot of old cars and old toys and this is one of them so this is a dinky uh, 965 I think it is um, which obviously he started to strip to restore so <coughs> I'm going to strip all the rest of the paint off it and I'm going to restore it and I think I'll do a bit of a, a video on it because I think it's going to be quite an interesting project and I'd say it'll be quite satisfying I might do an, a sort of a a full video of restoration in one, if you know what I mean. Um, so it'll not be out anytime soon, but um, keep an eye out for that. I have managed to get new tires for it and new um, decals or sticker transfers, um, just because I wanted to get those bought before I started into it. Um, so get it all stripped down, look at the component parts, check it all over, and then get it painted up. That's the plan anyway, um, and make it usable for the boys to play with. Differential still sitting up here, hasn't had a lot more done to it. Um, I'm sort of wondering whether I will continue with it as sort of a cost benefit type thing. Um, you can't get a decent quality crown wheel and pinion um, anymore new. Well, they are available, but of questionable quality and um, the whole blue box scandal, I'm not going to get into. So I'm a wee bit hesitant to put a lot of money into that and then find out that it's rubbish. So I'm on the fence as to whether to complete that video series. Um, but you know me and McLaughlin for punishment, so I probably will end up doing it. Um, yeah, over here, the vice. So I was given this uh, as a gift, really, a couple of years ago. Um, I broke my first one because the little metal, there's a little metal tongue goes up into a thread here, and it broke off, which was a bit unimpressive. And now this one's knackered as well. So... Not exactly top marks for Clark. Um, <laughs> it's, it's pretty rubbish, to be honest, for looking like it's so heavy duty. It's pretty terrible. So I'm actually hoping to repair it. These little sort of lock turn turn locks here to stop it spinning are broken down inside. So I'm going to have to take it off the bench, turn it upside down, and see if I can get someone to machine it for me. And speaking of machining, yes, I still want my own lathe because over here I want to get really get stuck into the three and a half inch gauge Highland Lassie live steam engine. Um, this seems quite popular and I made a video on this. I'll try and put a link up above. Um, 
I think it looks a really cool project. It's a really nice thing just sitting there, but I feel it's such a waste because the man who put so much work into it, um, it's not finished and trains are meant to move. They're a, a machine. So I want to get on with it. I want to I want to see it done. Um, it needs a boiler, which is going to be significant expense. It's probably out with the, my abilities. Well, yeah, it is out with my abilities. Um, but I would also need a lot of machine tools. So yes, it's a long-term project, but if I do get stuck into it, you can be sure that I will cover it here on the channel because I'm sure you'll all enjoy a bit of lathe and machining action and watching me make an absolute tube of myself um, on video because you know I like to share my mishaps as well. Um, other than that, there's not a huge lot else going on here in the garage. Um, there are some other bits and bobs needing done and I'll have a chat to you about those at the minute but up until then, I think the place just needs a bit of a tidy. Um, it's so typical, you get towards the end of a project, you just want to rush on and get it done. So yeah, let's have a chat about what else is coming along. Oh, here. That's what else. So in the line with those little dinky cars, um, this is one I started a while ago. Um, this is a Matchbox Lesney. Um, and I think it's, as far as I remember, it's a Hellman. Um, it's stripped and in primer, so that just needs painted and it's got its tow bar, which is quite unusual too. And under here somewhere, can't remember, I also got a little caravan which has a broken tow hook, so I'm going to investigate how to fix um, die cast metal models. So let's have a chat about what else has happened. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, we had a look at the Land Rover, we had a look at the finished Toy Lander, and I'll do another video, as I said, next week. In the future, we're going to be looking at the Morris Minor. I hope to be able to fit some rear seat belts so we can take the boys out in the Morris Minor safely. Um, so I'm going to be looking at how to fix that. And there's also a leak from the petrol tank. So I'm hoping to fix that. And I'm sure I'll be making some videos as I go along the way. You can catch me over on Instagram too. I do quite regular updates there outside of the videos here. So catch me over on Instagram. It's just at RestoSaga and I'll put a link down below. Um, maybe that'll be useful for you. Please hit the subscribe button as well. Give me a like and fire me a comment. I reply to all my comments. I enjoy the interaction. So get in touch and I'll be sure to get back to you. So I'll hope to catch you again next week. Cheerio.